All right, you guys, I'm Ms. Damaris, and I've been asked to talk to you a little bit about anxiety. Um, so we know that anxiety and depression are on the rise, especially amongst people your age. So um, it is important to understand just a little bit about how that works. Anxiety is just anticipation. Um, it's just your brain kind of like thinking about all the things that might happen in any given situation. And what Mr. Ray and I have learned as psych teachers is that a lot of our students are struggling with various types of anxiety. So you might feel anxiety when you're about to take a test. You might feel anxiety in a social situation. Some people even feel extreme anxiety like sitting in the lunchroom. So um, a couple things to know about anxiety is that the majority of what you're anxious about doesn't actually happen. And you can look at the numbers and there's lots of different statistics, um, but almost at least 85% of what you worry about doesn't really happen. And then they've also done studies on, of all of the things that actually do happen, what could you control? And it's less than 8%. So less than 8% of the things that you worry about are things that you could actually control even if they did happen. So I don't know if you guys remember, we had an advisory on um, what's called fight or flight in the brain. So we talked about like with stress and anxiety and stuff like that, what happens in your brain. And um, your brain like fires off all these alarms as if a bear is chasing you and going to actually kill you, regardless of what your anxiety is. I want you to think about all the thoughts that you have in the course of a day that could be thoughts that are filled with anxiety. So. Like I said, friend situations, um, a performance in a game, going home and getting in trouble from maybe parents or guardians, right? All of those different things. So what happens in your brain is, um, your brain lays down a track. Let's think about snow. Think about walking out your door and there's just a ton of snow on the ground and nobody stepped in it, okay? So you step out there in your boots and you put your little footprints in there to get to your car or your bus or your friend's house or wherever it is that you're going. That's the track that you laid down, okay? Um, so let's say you go back home and then you come back outside and you haven't shoveled yet. Um, so you're again gonna lay down footprints in the snow. So you walk through that snow again and again and again. And you know that the more that you walk in that snow, the more packed down that path in the snow gets. Your brain works the same way when you have thoughts. You lay down neural tracks, you lay down pathways. And, and so when you go, when your brain goes to fire off a thought, it's gonna go to the pathway that's sort of like the most packed down, like that snow, right? You're not gonna walk out your door and go, oh my God, two feet of snow, let me step in there. You're gonna walk on the pathway. Your brain does the same thing. So if you've kind of trained your brain to have these anxious thoughts, then your brain automatically defaults to that pathway with everything. And we've already told you that that pathway is a bear is going to kill me. So what we want to do is we want to kind of train your brain to have different types of thoughts. So there are lots of little things that you can do to try to retrain your brain or to try to survive when you're in kind of anxious situations because you don't want your brain firing off all those crazy thoughts. So I've wrote down or written down lots of lots of random things. Um, the first one is to be present in the moment. So to really focus in on one thing, just one thing, whatever it is that you're experiencing right now, like right now, you're trying to make it through class or you're trying to make it through advisory or whatever it is, focus on that one thing, not the 1,000 other things going on um, in your life. And what that does is it calms your brain down. Meditate, which we've already talked about. If you guys um, attended the advisory where we talked about fight or flight, uh, they did that, that just body calming exercise. Meditation is not a scary word. It's just about sort of being present. You only have to do that for about five minutes. And what it does is it actually changes your brain's neural pathways if you learn how to meditate. And there's lots of really cool apps for that. Another one is breathe. This is the one that Mr. Ray and I recommend to our students most often. Um, when they have a test put down in front of them and they're kind of freaking out, we just tell them calm down and breathe. You take five minutes um, or less. You can actually do it in two, but you have to breathe in through your nose, count to three, hold it, and out through your mouth. And what that does is it slows your heart rate um, and therefore decreases your blood pressure and calms your brain down. Laughing is actually awesome, laughing out loud. Um, when you laugh out loud, so funny movies, funny friends, doing crazy things um, that are fun, it lowers the cortisol, which is a stress hormone that's, that's produced in your body, um, and it boosts your endorphins. Endorphins are a natural high produced by your body, so laughing is super helpful. 
Um, music, I put a little asterisk by that. Um, having a playlist of music that's kind of like soothing and calming and being able to go to that, even for a short amount of time, um, it lowers your heart rate and lowering your heart rate also leads to decreased anxiety. Um, move any type of movement, like rather than um, taking the elevator or the escalator, taking the stairs, rather than parking in the front spot by the mall, parking in the farthest spot at the mall. So any type of movement actually um, increases our positive chemicals that are released by our brain. So those are just a few tips and tricks that you can do. Um, but overall, your overall goal is to try to decrease anxiety in your life because we don't want to be laying down those really negative pathways because it's easy for our brain to take that way out.